Hello, I'm Isaiah. Welcome back to Alcana. I just came back from the gym and, you know, just uh, took a tiny bit to uh, uh, relax. And here I am. Watch a couple of videos. Still did not eat because uh, my fat ass is still 70 kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really wanting to get back to 77 or sorry, sorry, 67 or 68. But it's very difficult since when I was bulking, I was eating a lot of oily foods. And you really don't want to do that when you're bulking. You should really try to just uh, increase your calories at a very like a uh, normal pace or, you know, maybe just upward it by about 100 at most. But I was eating easily eating a lot of junk food, right? A lot of KFC, a lot of McDonald's. And while I do like the food, the thing is, um, it's a bad habit to have. And once you get around to eating those highly palatable foods, it's very difficult for you to start stopping. So I've been kind of like having some difficulty lowering my like uh, weight. Not to mention that I haven't really been doing as much cardio. My lifts are actually insane, but... When it comes to cardio, the only time I would probably sprint with my bike is when I go to the gym and when I go back from the gym. But it's a really short sprint, really. I think it's what? Um... About 6 or 8 kilos round trip. So to go there, it's about 4 kilos. It's very short. It's a very short distance. But yeah, enough about that. Let's actually talk about Aokana, shall we? So let me do an episode recap on what we did yesterday. I guess on the last episode for you guys on YouTube. So after we bought the uh, graph shoes for FC, they started using it for training. And we just finished off episode 2 when they wanted to do a training camp during Golden Week. Right now it's episode 3. And so far, I think it's actually not bad, the pacing of the game. I feel like I can usually finish an episode um, in the game within two episodes that I record myself. I'm not sure if, it, if that's going to continue toward the future or, you know, like... Uh, as time goes on, the episodes might progressively get longer and longer, but I guess we'll see. There was also a very lengthy fan service scene that we got to see when people were changing. But yeah, let us see what episode 3 shall give us. The preview on the last episode was pretty epic, so I'm kind of excited about it. Golden Week has begun. I don't know if this game is actually as interesting for you guys as it is for me, but the competition arc... Um, I feel I'm actually pretty excited about it because I'm into sports myself. I wonder how it would be if you guys are not really into sports and you're, you know, reading this visual novel. Aoi-san is currently leading everyone in the Kunahama Academy FC Club to our training camp. The Administrative Council? What an interesting name. Six thousand? What the? Okay, that's actually pretty insane. This is a high school, mind you. My school was pretty big, and it only housed about, maybe at most, 1,500 students. You know, from like, uh, the first years to the third years. 6,000? That's four times as big as my school, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What the fuck is a Brop Dignagian school? Holy shit! What is that word? What the fuck? 
青柳妹は地元なんだから校舎くらい見たことあるだろうそうじゃなくてマンモス校ってなんかしごっこいい響きだなーって言いたマドカ tilts to the side of the strange angle I guess it's supposed to be something else in, you know, um, <laughs> modern saying. I thought you can't bump, you know, without、uh, triggering the repulsion thing. But I guess this is just a comedic skit. They're not really gonna take it seriously. それは死後を使った私を古いとか骨董品だとか言いたいわけかんけ、決してそんなことはというかお前最近言うようになったなもう少しおとなしめな生徒かと思っていたぞなるべく心を開こうと思っていたんですがやっぱり閉じた方がいいのかなって今絶賛葛藤中です I wonder if Madoka would have a route of her own on you know The so called DLC of the game, which is the extras, right? I don't, have the ga or I don't have the extras on Steam, but I wouldn't really mind getting it myself if I really like this game. So far, it's pretty good, but we're not really into the routes just yet. I have played a couple of games where the common route is actually the best part, and then the individual routes themselves just start, you know, crapping themselves. I opt out of the situation. Aoi san is clearly pissed, even if it doesn't show on her face. Okay, so maybe the repulsion thing did happen, and she was, uh. You know, complaining about that. Well, I admit that was impressive, but it's better not to try that during normal flight. Maruka, Omaimo F. Shibuno Masiki, Sensei no Tokubis Jigo Kara, Waza o Nusunda. I thought she was just gonna be a manager. Watashi manager da yo! Tiuka, Amario Goita, a makeuga, membrane, a hana ni kusurite, kushin no natume ga kudureta. What the? Limb makeup? High school girls wear makeup? I mean, uh, I guess I was from a very strict、uh, school. We weren't able to use makeup in our school at all. I think you'd actually get. <laughs> not expelled, but I think you'd need to wash it off if you were to, you know, get found out that you were wearing makeup. Natural makeup, yes. Okay, natural makeup. What the fuck is YSK? Is that supposed to be a brand of makeup? I fly over to Aoi san in order to ask her a question. Oh, now we can actually see her graph shoes. This looks really, this looks really nice. I actually prefer these shoes compared to the shoes that you wear in air gear. It's a lot cooler, in my opinion. Why are we flying to them? There are better means of transport. I don't get it. I knit my brows in confusion. I think last episode, Aoi san was also praising. Uh, Asuka about her like flying ability. You know, it made me wonder, or it, it made me think about when I was actually going to the gym with my brother. I was also encouraging, encouraging him technically, even though what he did wasn't really all that impressive. <laughs> I guess when it comes to beginners, it's always better to shower them with praise just so that they get motivated. I can kind of see where she was coming from. Because、uh, on the last episode, I was more so saying that we should be honest about what we think about them. But I think for beginners, it is actually a lot more motivating if you just compliment them. Yeah. 
相手の予定にねじ込ませてもらったくらいだからな。Oh, that's it? I thought you were gonna say a lot more, considering that was a long sentence. And they're fine with that? Now I'm getting uneasy for an entirely different reason. So, 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 I honestly don't even care anymore. Okay, I was wondering how long it took us to get to this、uh, point in time. So it was only a week of practice. I had lost interest and started to move my eyes away from her. But hearing that makes me turn back toward her instantly. She has a smug look on her face, but I can also sense a hint of kindness within it that most people wouldn't register. You'd know how much they've improved if you actually showed up to practice at all. I replied in an accusatory, accusi, accusatory tone? I feel like that's not the right way to say it. I know that the noun for it is accusation, right? Accusatory? Maybe? Is that how you say it? I mean, come on. How can a club advisor not even show up to practice once? Her excuse sounds way too forced to, to move me to tears. Doubt it. Huh? What do you mean by. Ah! Asuka! Asuka is suddenly flying right next to me. What's the matter? Do you need help with your form again or something? Do you always have to trash me? I swear, she's constantly bad mouthing me. It really sucks. No need to exaggerate, but thanks. So, what's up? Right, Asuka. Tell her. Pretending to blow smoke out of a cigarette that's not even lit can't save her. I pretend not to hear that. She does feel like someone who would smoke. Why is she being so dramatic? That's gotta be one of the worst excuses I've ever heard. I'm actually curious about how many people still smoke in Japan. When I was there, the pachinko area was full of smoke, like cigarette smell. It was disgusting. Maybe after four years, they'd actually reduce the amount of people that smoke? But I don't know. Here in Indonesia, it's also very, very bad. People would smoke on the streets way too often, you'd get secondhand smoking. Like a lot. I hate smoke. I don't know how it is in the US either, but I hear not a lot of people actually smoke in the US because it's banned or something, right? Well, I don't know if it's actually banned, but I know not a lot of people smoke there. And this gullible girl actually believes her. Quit lying to her. You totally just forgot. Uh. What? <laughs> What's a quip? 
Madoka flies off sideways in an exaggerated manner as Aoi-san's palm grazes her. A Sukomi is basically, um, you know, a stand-up comedy skit where you have a straight man and then someone who says ridiculous random stuff. My friend is actually really into that. And I would always be the straight guy. <laughs> because you would really just say some awkward stuff, man. I like how she's just using the peace sign even though she is uh using the XD face. Yeah, this is getting way too weird. Better go get away from Aoi san while I still can. Asuka follows me. Looks like she did it without really thinking. Miss Kagami seems preoccupied. How about I pick up where she left off? Asuka presses her hands together in mid-sentence as if she suddenly remembered something. You must have been hearing things. Huh. Surprising that she let that go quite easily. I thought she was the, fr the type that would, you know, jump straight into it. Asuka's absolute faith in me makes me feel bad. But there's nothing I can do about that. Don't really feel like explaining our past right now. Oh, we're here. Stop. No, it's just seeing is believing. I tell our entire group to stop. Below us is an area far too large to be a normal campus. We're there. Isn't it usually we're here? I feel like when you say we're there, it's not really, you know, fitting. Fukuru Island is located 5.4 kilometers southwest of Kunahama Island. That's not too long. When you're walking that distance, maybe you'll get there in about an hour? Maybe a bit less. It takes 19 minutes to fly cr to cross by ferry. Okay, I thought that was uh, flying for some reason. And in the northeastern part of Akuro Island is this school. I assume when he's saying ferry, it's actually going from terminal to terminal. So this is Takafuji Academy's Fukuru Island branch, huh? Oh, wait. There's a branch for this school? Okay, so the one in Tokyo is the one that houses 6,000 students. Because uh, this actually doesn't feel that big. It's only three floors. So, yeah, there's no way it would house 6,000 people with only three floors, in my opinion. Asuka gives her honest impression. Any specific reason you didn't choose it? Frankly, that kind of response suits Asuka best. Didn't it ever occur to you that we might not even be, you know, chosen to be able to attend the school? Well, I chose Kunahama because it's close by. That's my default answer to the question. And it's what I want to believe too. Nah, he said that he chose a school that isn't really popular with FC or whatever. I still remember that, Messiah. But honestly, I know that wasn't my real reason. After all, I've been trying to avoid Flying Circus for a while now. That's why I chose Kunahama Academy, which wasn't known for FC. 
and somehow I still ended up getting involved with this with the sport. Aoi-san was the first person I ever lied to about my motives. Though I'm guessing she saw right through me from the start. Can't say I expected him to share my thought process. But I thought you had senpais before you, though. I don't know. I don't think I was misremembering, but there were senpais before him that were inside of the FC club, right? Whatever, Shion. I'm a muscle head, but I don't really think like this guy. This guy is clearly having his head in the clouds. Mashiro seems pretty worried by that thought. Man, reality's a harsh mis mistress. In its three years, the Kunahama Academy FC Club accomplished nothing and lost all its members. Yeah, see? So there were members before him too, right? Also, someone should speak up about the win the nationals part. Yeah, he's definitely delusional. Whatever you say, Shion. You never quit, do you? Maybe it's the power of his muscles. Nah, it's just his personality, my friend. Considering my situation, I'm actually kinda jealous. Though I'd still never wish to be like him. I think that's a bit of an overstatement. Hmm, I guess everyone else is able to actually go into the school, except for Shion. I would expect that, you know, a popular school like this would have really difficult entrance exams or, you know, the, like, test to get into the school would be pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie, not a lot of people can actually go into my school. It's, uh, it's quite a prestigious school. And, you know, a lot of people actually failed after they joined the school. I think about 20 or 30 people from my year alone actually had to quit the school because their, you know, their scores were not good enough. Somehow, I get the feeling that I should give up on her. Having kids run the school feels like, uh, I don't know, that seems like such a bad idea. Huh? 
So he got fired? Damn. So the students can do that, huh? Oh, okay, she's done? I was uh, waiting uh, because I thought she was gonna say more. Sometimes this happens in Japanese. Like, the text in English would be like so, so much, but then, you know, she has to stop for dramatic effect and finish her sentence on the next line. Or <laughs> she gets uh, interrupted like this. I turn toward the person who just addressed this. That's Satoin, right? And when I do, I see a, a rather large number of students that have gathered before us. There's probably more than fifty of them. I'm guessing that I'm guessing that's the Takafuji Academy FC Club. No need to guess because I spot an all too familiar face. Didn't expect the entire club to come greet us. And the one who called out to us, positioned at the center of the lined up students, is. Right. I should have known. Madoka asks. Kind of. I don't think so. I think it's that guy that we saw in the episode preview. Yeah, that guy's name must be Shindo. Man, this is gonna ignite the fire inside Messiah's heart again. If he is what I think he is, there's no way he's not gonna have some competitive spirit. Kazunari Shindo. Never heard of him. Oh really? I've had my hands full, so I never bother to scout potential opponents. My bad. I'm totally failing as a coach right now. Should start paying more attention to FC News. But putting that aside... About seven or eight students all bow their heads when she brings up their managers. Guess that's their way of introducing themselves. Oh, that's actually a typo. Dan quantity. I'll ignore our barely functioning manager for now. Can't believe they have so many people in supporting roles. No wonder they house the reigning champion. Ooh, sorry there, Satoin. Eagerly awaiting us, huh? Going by what Aoi-san said, this joint training camp is effectively the same as us forcing ourselves into Takafuchi's practice. It'd be nice if everyone actually wanted us here, but... I doubt they do. Okay, her first name is Reiko. She sure doesn't mince words. Wow, you guys are not nice. Come on. Mashura seems annoyed by her attitude. Takafuji Gakuen FC Bo Daihoste, 
熱く御礼申し上げますわ遠いところからお疲れになったでしょうお部屋にご案内いたしますわさ荷物をお貸しなさいお持ちしますわあ、uh, luggage、huh. How do we carry our luggage? I thought we just. Huh. Actually, didn't think about that. Maybe we just. I thought we just. Um. Use some backpacks or something. What do we even need? Like, just the suit, right? Oh, wait. This is a training camp. So we actually have to stay here for three days. Because this is throughout Golden Week. Huh. Interesting. Saying so, Satoin san comes over to get our bags herself. Okay, so we, we do just bring our bags, right? A backpack. Wouldn't say it was a journey, but it's nice to see she actually cares. That makes no sense. Misaki's just contradicting herself there. Plus, she's wrong on both counts. Satoin san is just a genuinely kind person. That she did not say that at all. Come on now. There she goes again. What are we supposed to do if our warm-up ends poorly? The looks on everyone but Asuka's faces makes it clear we're thinking along the same lines. However, that isn't even the strangest thing she just said. I mean, what does being young have to do with anything? I'm sure all of us want to ask her that question, but we avoid it in order to ensure our continued survival. <laughs> Some of the Takafuji girls let out cheers as she introduces herself. Guess she must be pretty popular back in the day. Seems the once legendary Aoi Kagami is still known among young Skywalkers. I'm not surprised. She had a ton of fans back in the day, and most of them were girls. Satoin san scolds them. Got it. Urged on by her gaze, I decide to introduce myself. Thank you for making this training camp possible. I'm Asaya Hinata, a sophomore at Kunahama Academy. I also currently serve as the coach of our FC club. No, I'm just the coach. All of the Takafuji students seem surprised by that fact. Why? Makes sense. It's pretty unusual for someone our age to, to be just the coach. Okay. Even Shindo-san, the top Skywalker of our generation, does both. That must mean they take me for some genius strategist. Damn. I want to go home now. That said, it's not like I'm an anything special. Don't gaslit me, Aoi. What are you saying? I was trying to lower their expectations, but she just ruined everything. Oh, she's done? See? This is why sometimes I thought that she might be saying one more sentence. Seriously, cut it out! Wait, what? I had to have misheard that, right? You can't be serious. You're not actually leaving us here, are you? That's not the problem here. Uh, which girl? She winks at a girl who's staring at her as she says that. Oh. I guess just some random. <laughs> Shrill cheers erupt one at one one. What? Shrill cheers erupt once more. This 
Visual Novel has the most typos I've seen in a long time. This is fucking insane. Nekonyan, you need to do some QC, my dudes. Didn't really sound like a joke to me. I'm sure you can pass for a student. Hey, yeah, I think that was actually a compliment. Though I guess <laughs> she takes offense because her body is probably, you know, not well endowed or something. But she really does look young. Always on turns to face Satoin san. Um, no, please don't. Sure, I haven't even met Shindo san, but he sounds way more amazing than me. I don't know if this is her sick idea of payback, but either way, she keeps making the situation worse for me. And the problem is, everyone from Takafuji is buying into her crap. Ugh. I'm screwed. I'm surprised that the Takafuji um, sports uniform isn't actually a bloomer's. If you take a look at um, Ichinose's sprite. Rika was her first name, right? I can't believe you're actually abandoning us. I know she's not the type to change her mind, but still. Fine. I've given up on stopping you. So please do something about our president before you leave. Nani? He's down in the dumps because you made me seem like the leader. <laughs> You're being kind of creepy, my dude. I only just noticed that Prez looks devastated. His reactions are honestly kind of cute, which doesn't doesn't suit him at all. That's beside the point. Flattery will get you nowhere. Quit trying to avoid the problem. Jeez. Hey, Miss Kagami. So what? She's saying this is a test of my leadership skills or something? Fine. I'll take care of it. Can't really count on her to handle it anyway. I turn to face everyone from Takafuji Academy again. Let me continue where I left off. This here is our very dependable club president. Prez's ears twitch when he hears that. No one I know is as muscular as him. His bulging biceps are a huge help during practice. Whatever, my friend. Prez returns in all his glory. Let him take the glory, damn it. It's gonna be the press otherwise. Unfortunately, the way I handled that is met with contempt by some of our female members. I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. Introductions continue on after press. Quiet murmurs erupt among Takafuji's club members. What's up with them? The buzz has grown louder. Oh, I see. Yeah, they probably heard about Satoin. Um, you know, 
failing to defend herself. The Takafuji people kept keep glancing between Asuka and Sato Insan. That makes sense. They must all know that Asuka scored a point on Sato Insan. On top of that, she started flying only three weeks ago. If you look at the timeline, she'd only been at it for a week back then. It's no wonder they're all confused. Her stock must have taken a big hit thanks to that revelation. I look at Sato Insan as that thought runs through my mind. I'm oh, sorry. Thought she was done. I'm surprised she's taking this with stride or in stride. She's not really uh, trying to be too competitive or anything. Like, you know, I thought she would be like pompous and said, there's no way I would lose again to you or something like that. Satoin-san directs an elegant bow at Asuka, which she hurri hurriedly tries to return. Wow. That's a little unexpected. I thought she might hold a grudge. Me too. And go all, that was nothing but a fluke or something. Actually, the Takafuji students all seem really composed too. Maybe Satoin-san's a better leader than I thought. And there's still someone above her, Shindo-san. Takafuji Academy's Fukuro Island branch, huh? A certain girl I know has been glaring daggers at me this entire time. The expression she has on her face makes me pray she only looks like her, but I know that isn't true. Anyway, introductions continue. Why don't you tell them your playstyle? Mashiro bows her head with a smile on her face. What? Can't spare any of that kindness for me? Guess this is what they call teenage rebellion. It, it's nothing. They grow up so fast. Okay, it's speeder, not speedster. I feel like I I said I, I said it as speedster back in the day. The two people who finish introducing themselves chime in with their playstyles. And then next comes That's a bit too brief. Low blood pressure or not, she could at least try a bit harder here. Sure. Let me get this straight. You're planning on rolling with that broken Japanese for the rest of this training camp, yeah? Misaki bows her head. Glad she realized it'd be a pain to keep that up. How is she not embarrassed by doing this? Okay, see you in a few days. Yeah, thanks for ignoring her. You should be glad you didn't get anyone's honest opinion. I'm watching Aoi son leave when. Huh? Are you talking to me? Why didn't you just call my name? I mean, no, but it's kind of hard to tell when she says... When all she says is you. What happened to not forgetting a name you've heard? I see. 
She's saying there's some condition I haven't cleared yet. Need to earn her respect to get the privilege of being called by name. Well, what do you need? I guess she thinks we're below <laughs> Asuka. Let me think. That proposal is our beloved teacher's last will and testament. We should at least use it for her sake. Yeah, let's just get right to practice. Can we use your changing rooms? She clearly just said, eh, there. Come on, take this more seriously. They're letting us stay here and practice with them. Have some manners, girl. Satoin-san takes it upon herself to show our members the way to the changing rooms, so everyone other than me follows her. Shit. Next thing I know, I find myself all alone in front of dozens of Takafuji students. Should've just gone with them. I've got nothing to do here. This is really awkward. Actually, that's not quite right. I'm their coach. It's my job to get to know some of their players to help my team fit in. I'm not very good at socializing, but I'm the only one who can do this. Wait, Madoka would have been perfect for this. And she doesn't even need to change. Why'd she leave? Guess that doesn't really matter now. It's all up to me. I need to at least talk to one person. Having made up my mind, I take a deep breath to relax and prepare myself for this trial. That's right. I forgot. I still have to deal with her. She leads me to a place away from the other Takafuji students. Uh... Won't this, you know? Attract too much attention? Yeah, and you're the Ichinose who moved in next door. Looks like I was right. I already guessed you were a member of the Takafuji Academy of Sea Club. What? Jeez, you're overthinking this, girl. Glad she doesn't assume the worst. I really didn't know at the time. Promise. It only clicked after Aoi-san told us about the training camp. What do you mean? She's being really vague. Can't tell what she's trying to ask at all. Okay. Well, you're gonna have to ask uh, Aoi-san, but I think Aoi-san wants to make Shindo into a stepping stone for Messiah. I initially thought she was just taking out her frustration on me, but it seems I was mistaken. I think this goes back to what Aoi-san said. She claimed I spearheaded this training camp. In fact, she even said that I was in charge of the Kunahama Academy FC Club in general. It's no wonder Ichinose is directing her complaints at me after hearing that. This must be what she was worried about when we last talked. She's this worked up about something that has nothing to do with her. She must care a lot about her fellow club members. Or well, 
That's the positive spin at least. Honestly, I think it's more that she's getting a little ahead of herself. What to do? Aoi-san isn't here right now, which means I can just pin the blame on her. No, wait. What am I saying? It is her fault. Still, blaming her won't fix things, and I'd feel bad since she isn't even here to defend herself. Plus, Ichinose would be left with no one to answer her questions. That'd be fine by me if she was just a random stranger, but unfortunately, she isn't. There's no point in complaining about that now. Just tell me what you want. She has no reason to apologize, yet she does. She goes out of her way to help others, then ends up feeling bad about it. Must be hard to live that way. That's true. Let's see. How do I respond here? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we were gonna get a choice there for a sec. I guess this is gonna be Shindo's first appearance. Huh? The sudden appearance of another person turned the conversation on its head. Who? Wow, he looks so different compared to the CG that we saw him back during the character, or sorry, the episode preview when he was all fired up. The guy grasps my hand without even introducing himself. And he won't let go. Hey! Sorry, was that, like, too loud? <laughs> I tried to shake off his hand. Ah! However, I can't get away from him. His grip is too tight. Suddenly, a thought occurs. Is this... Should have known. Kazunari Shindo. The strongest, strongest Skywalker of our generation. Why does he seem so excited? Oh shit. He might have known our past. Ah! His words make me want to curl up into a ball and die. This guy knows my past? He goes silent and appears to be thinking deeply. Uh, he didn't say that second part of the sentence there. Why don't you start by letting go of my hand? This music seems like very, uh, like evil sounding. But I do feel like he's not really a bad person. He's probably actually just excited to see us. My hand is now covered in cold sweat, but not from him shaking it. I should shut him up before. I shake my head dismissively as Ichinose stares at me. Take that with a grain of salt. I mean, come on. You can tell he's exa exaggerating, right? Well, I guess it's true that my FC experience played a part in getting me this position. Still, the past doesn't come with very happy memories for me. I won't deny it, but I don't want to talk about it in detail either. How does people just one year below him not know about this guy then? I mean, that's not really a big age gap. But I guess, uh... I don't know. I guess we'll see. Kazunari Shindo, the player who's said to be the best in our generation, wanted to be like me? You're overhyping me. Shindo-san narrows his already narrow eyes even more as he smiles. Uh, 
He said, I thought you wanted my uh, his sign. <laughs> God. There's no way she'll straight up tell him she was complaining about us wasting their time. She's stuck in a no-win situation here. Guess I'll help her get out of this. No, the truth is, she did know. She pulled me over here because she didn't want anyone to see her asking for my autograph, right? <sighs> You're not very smart, are you? Play along! Luckily, the words I desperately try to convey through my eyes gets through to her. Heh, there's no need to be shy. I realize we're acting awfully na unnatural, but this is the best we can do right now. Too bad we don't have a pen. Damn it, that really sucks. Ah, <sighs> don't you guys know when you're playing like this, like, a bit too much? It's so easily noticeable that it's an act. Man, I really hope we aren't blowing our cover. <laughs> Am I gonna sign her shirt? Oh, for fuck! Uh, I'm just really surprised. Pleasantly, of course. I mean, I think I always bring a pen in my, you know, breast pocket when I was in high school. I don't think that's really anything too weird. Well, I don't usually do this, but I'll make an exception just this once since we have an audience. Shindo-san is watching me carefully. And he's making a real big deal out of this too. But that said, she came here empty-handed. There's no way she has something convenient on her. I guess it's the handkerchief. Her expression is one of bitter loss. I know just how she feels. I guess a tracksuit would be a problem since you need it for our training camp and all. It'll have to be the handkerchief. You can just wash it off. It's not like it's permanent, right? I don't know what to say. Well, it is going to be blemished though. Even if you do try to wash it off. Nice. This is hard to deal with. Honestly, I'm starting to feel just as bad about this as her. No, it's fine. I should be able to forget about it within a matter of three days. Though that means it's going to weigh on my mind during this training camp. The damage is already done. Oh well, let's just get this over with. Ichinose-san, I can hear your agonized voice. This is still better than, you know, us telling the truth though, so just suck it up. And I'm done. You will probably actually treasure that for the rest of your life if we do your route. <laughs> Truth be told. I'm happy to hear that. Ichinose has a stiff expression on her face as she holds the handkerchief to her chest. Both of us suffered massive damage. Is this the most tragic autograph session in history? Yeah, 
The truly amazing part here is that the look on his face is, in fact, full of envy. Truth is, the whole autograph thing was a lie. She moved in right next to my place recently, and we're on friendly terms. Wow, we actually could have saved the situation by just saying that first. Should have known he'd realize things didn't add up. Actually, I did know, but he seemed to be buying it, so I just tried to force it through. I should have just told the truth from the start. Ichinose's handkerchief wouldn't have been sacrificed if I did. I'm really sorry, Chinose. Yeah, but he looks really soft right now, but uh, yeah, I can see this guy being super competitive when shit starts getting real. Everyone that adores someone to some degree is probably very into their sport. Well, maybe not. I know a lot of people who just like to watch soccer, even though none of them actually play soccer at all. I guess it depends on the person, right? But I guess if you're playing the sport and then you idolize someone, I think that you're actually, you know, somewhat serious in the sport itself. What did he just say? Wait, wasn't it Kunahama that forced this in this training camp? Oh, wow, really? So he was the one that approached her. So I guess I always saw an, I thought that well she's probably taking use of this opportunity to try to make Shindo into a stepping stone for Messiah but I thought that she probably would have an, a more active role interesting in other words, the training camp is happening with the consent of both schools. The girl who had misread the whole situations has turned bright red. Whole situations? Huh. I don't think that's supposed to be plural. I guess she must be feeling pretty torn up right now. She can't quite talk properly. This guy says cringeworthy stuff like it's nothing. I can't deny that. But well, it's probably a good idea to let Ichinose cool off on her own. She bows her head to both me and Shindo-san, then me again one more time and totters away. Are you gonna show me your fangs now that we're alone? Be honest. How long were you listening? He dodges my question with a smile on his face. Seems this guy isn't going to be easy to deal with. Anyway, thanks for the assist. You probably went a little overboard, but it all worked out. I find that hard to believe. You're probably, you probably just want to, like, uh, squash me, right? 
You've got to be kidding me. I mean, who in their right mind wouldn't want to try to win against their idol? Right? If you're super competitive about your sport, uh, you're sure you wouldn't want to be sportsmanlike and race your idol or, you know, compete with your idol. But who doesn't want to actually squash them and win against them? I feel like anyone would. Unless you're like just a fanboy. And in my opinion, if you're just a fanboy, you're not truly, you know, in it with the mindset of you want to win. And that's a very important mindset if you want to be in a like super competitive sport. Or I guess um, a competitive world in general. Shindo-san turns around and walks back over to the others. I look at the hand he, sh he shook and notice it's still wet. When I get back, I find Ichinose surrounded by Takafuji's students. Well, I knew this was gonna happen. I'm happy for her. Looks like her overly serious attitude hasn't done much. She's got lots of friends. Uh, our eyes meet. After seemingly waffling on what to do, she directs a bow at me. I lightly raise my hand in response. I think you're misunderstanding things. This is something that happens when they're exasperated. Like I said, she has some good friends. Oh, you're done changing? Everyone's back now. Okay, what did she say? Okay. How'd you arrive at that idea? No, Asuka. That just seems sad. Get lost, Prez. I guess the, he's the idiot friend <laughs> we're gonna have in this whole game. After that, we all head over to Takafuji's practice ground only to find... Don't admit that! I know she's right, but that just makes us look bad. Still, can't say I expected them to have so much more space than us. Guess I shouldn't be too surprised though. This is Takafuji we're talking about. It may be a branch school, but it's still extremely hard to get in. Not to mention the fact that this environment has given birth to top skywalkers every year. Gotta steal some of this for my own use. Uh, by the way, I don't mean I'm literally going to steal the equipment. Just trying to say I'll steal their knowledge and methods and use them to be a su successful coach. Their number one player should be huge, a huge help on that front. Whoa! No? I was just lost in thought. I panicked a little because the very person I was thinking of stealing from appeared before me. Something you need? Okay, 
care to elaborate? Damn. I feel like this guy is itching for a fight, man. Yeah, that'd be a bad idea. We aren't really good enough to face them in mock battles. Chances are high that we'd get crushed. I'm just glad we got the chance to practice with everyone from Takafuji. Something wrong? Shindo-san's brows aren't moving at all. He's dead serious. I can't believe the guy who's set to be the best Skywalker for, of our generation idolizes me. He readily backs down and proposes something that isn't what he actually wants to do. I can't help but feel that he's a far better person than me. However, I have a different opinion. There's no need for us to get friendly. I mean, we aren't here to make f new friends. Sure, chances are high that we'll get crushed if we challenge them at all, but... Well, it's my job as their coach to make sure that won't happen. Yup! His competitive spirit is igniting. Oh, sorry. Cut something on my throat. Let me go drink uh, some water real quick. Alright. And at the same time, I need to make them realize how big the gap between them and top Skywalkers really is. I appreciate the thought though. I guess we can at least give them the opportunity to get to know each other. Makes sense to me. No, I should apologize for being so blunt. I think he was still saying hum on the last sentence and I kind of skipped it prematurely. My bad. Yeah, how about we just go with a normal game instead? <laughs> um... That beaming smile of his makes it hard to tell. Uh, I think he's actually being cut off there. He hasn't actually finished his sentence yet. And wow, I would just realize that Satoin son there has some impressive knockers. <laughs> I mean, I was kind of looking at it when she was wearing her uniform. And, you know, comparing her size to like Asuka and Mashiro and stuff. But yeah, they're actually pretty damn big. Maybe not as big as Misaki's though. Shindo-san points at me as he says that. Oh, he said Sato-kun again. Sato-kun. Uh, I think he's just being mean to her. What the hell? Are these two actually on bad terms? Huh? Me? I get startled as Satoin san suddenly points at me. Nope. Oh yeah. She somehow guesses the question I have in mind. In fact, I was planning on asking Shindo-san about it after Satoin-san left. 
And if it turned out there was bad blood between them, my plan was to leave it at that. Uh, what? Man, this is bad. What am I supposed to do if it turns out they can't stand each other? For some reason, she declares that in a very proud and confident tone. Huh? It takes a while for me to fully comprehend what she just dropped on me. So her actual name is Sato Rika? But she wants to be called Sato In? Um, so if the name on her birth certificate is Sato, then... Wait, your real name is Reiko Sato? Oh, it's Reiko. Did I just call her Rika again? Sorry, Chinose. Uh, what? This is downright confusing. Do you not like your name or something? Um, what's up with the in part? Uh, suddenly, Satoin san, or should I say Sato san, shoves her face toward mine. Then, uh, Hin Ata is actually, you know, there's an in there. I'm confused. When did I ever say I want one? She lets out a triumphant snort. What a weird person. After saying that, she throws back her hair with her hand, spins around and leaves. Her long hair unfurls like a beautiful cloak. I simply stare at her back, completely flabbergasted. Um... I'm really confused right now. Uh... Cool? Frankly, I couldn't care less. Does she get upset when you don't call her Satoin-san? Yeah. Aren't they just doing what's smart? Don't wake a sleeping giant as they say. Besides, you keep using a real name. Yup, it's really hard to tell when he's cracking a joke. True, I feel like this guy is not really saying, you know, what's on his mind most of the time. Guess it's better for me to keep calling her Satoin-san. Alright, let's give them hell. After a thoroughly exhausting practice, we had dinner. Wait, we're not gonna comment about the practice? Or anything? Aww. And now, we've dragged all our, all our bags over to Takafuji's dojo. Apparently, all the guys are going to sleep here. There are more girls, so they got the gym instead. All that's left for today is to take a bath and go to sleep at Lights Out. Lights Out? Huh. Okay. That's probably a perfect way to use that word, but usually it's always lights out for me, never having an S on the end side. I'm kind of worried about Shindo-san because he seemed like such a fan, uh, such a huge fanboy earlier. But luckily, he hasn't done anything suspicious since. Shinata, ah, so we're giving him a massage? I can't. Your back muscles are bulging out, so they slip right out of my hands when I try to get a better grip on them. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. You should probably bring yourself like a massage ball or something, Shion. I always bring myself a massage ball when I go out. You know, on a trip or something. It's really useful. Just lie flat, and then use the massage ball to press against whatever area is sore. 
Sounds more like a punishment than a reward. Right now, I'm mounting our president's back and giving him a, a massage. No, he didn't force me to do this. In fact, it was my idea. Figured I could use this chance to develop a useful skill, but... Ah! Yeah! Yeah! How is it, Prez? <laughs> Any technique goes right out the window with him. Can't really use him to get better. Well, you probably don't have enough power for someone that has a lot of muscle, Messiah. Ah! Now that's just creepy, my friend. <laughs> Prez bolts up at the sight of him, knocking me away. I'm guessing Shindo... Uh, his real motive is either to actually compete with us on a game or actually try to snatch Messiah to their school, yeah. I'm guessing it's more the first part though. Like, you know, the former. <laughs> Shindo gives a light nod as he says that. <sighs> you wouldn't look so down in the dumps if you were just cracking a joke. Man. These aren't the kind of people I want to be popular with. Shindo-san, huh? He's someone who approached me knowing my past. I don't think he's a bad person, but I don't quite trust him either. It's hard to figure out what he wants. And naturally, that has me real nervous. Yeah? Oh boy, here it comes. Is it going to be about my past again, or something else? Okay. I move my ear over to his mouth so he can whisper it into it. Shindo-san. Prez is probably sad because he feels left out. Why? He readily brings his ear close. Ah, uh, I don't really like the situation, especially if he's going to bring up my past again. But Shindo-san gives me a nod to reassure me, makes a serious expression and then begins to speak. Why? <laughs> why is this why is this suddenly like random fan service going on? What the fuck? This guy must be trying to, you know, like uh shake us off. There's no way this is actually what he wants to do. This is probably just because uh Shion is here. Come again? I'm not sure I heard that right. A shudder runs through my body as he confirms my suspicions. What the hell? Does he know what he's saying? Now he's scaring me in a completely different sense. Shindo-san apparently notices the look of disgust on my face and shakes his head in a gentlemanly way. Then why? You know, that's just as bad, but in a totally different way. I mean, why else would you want to do that? I know I just asked him that question, but I'm not sure I really want to hear the answer. Then pick something that isn't a crime! Then pick something that isn't a crime! 
Yeah, this has got to be something to shake us off, right? Probably to shake Xion off. But we could lose everything. Like, everyone's trust in our reputation. <laughs> Turns out Shindo-san is way scarier than I thought. Luckily, Prez is shaking. Glad I have someone on my side. I guess he's the only one that's gonna self-destruct. Shit! He was shaking from joy! I'm screwed. Do Whatever you say, man. いや、でもそうすると平田が足手まといになるか。今回の作戦では置いていった方がいいかもしれないな。うん。まあ、その辺は現場で確認するとして。I'll keep listening for now. Can always just knock them out when push comes to shove. Huh? What's this? My phone's ringing. And the caller is... Madoka? What's up? Huh? Why a sudden question? I'm in the dojo. Where else would I be? Of course, they show you Madoka. Should still be okay for YouTube? If this is not okay? I don't... I don't know the guidelines, man. This is not too sexual, right? <laughs> want me to hand him the phone? Actually, just call him directly if you want to talk to him. Meaning? Of course not. She's got a powerful sixth sense. Exactly. If only she knew he was the one who came up with the idea. No need to tell me that. That's already my plan. Cold? Madoka, where exactly? I really don't see how that makes any sense, but I got the picture at least. Yeah, later. Of course, we get to see the CG even though we're not there. <laughs> and with that, I lower my phone from my ear as Madoka hangs up. Wait, she's still on the line. What's wrong? You forget to say something? No reply. Hmm? What's that sound? Why is she still? Oh. Oh, I guess she left the phone on, like, uh, the lockers or something. I can hear a familiar voice through, through the phone. Though, it is kind of fuzzy. Which means, Madoka forgot to hang up. But... It should be pretty far from, like, the lockers to the open-air bath. How am I still hearing them unless they're, like, shouting? Fuck this game! <laughs> Fuck my brain for also not being... Not, you know, like, uh, letting this slip. Oh well. Not like it matters. I just have to hang up on my end. Sure, I kind of want to keep listening, but it's not worth the risk. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
あんなのは初めてくらいでして。Not that I expected it to be any different. But it appears making them practice fundamentals after everyone was already exhausted from practice matches. Oh, from practice matches wasn't the most popular decision. Their extremely valuable, unfiltered impressions inadvertently make me keep listening. Okay, I can't show you guys the CG for this one. <laughs> I can show you guys Madoka's, but I can't show this one. Okay. At least for people on YouTube, so yeah, you guys will be just seeing some black screen here. I can't even show the dialogue because freaking like、uh, Mashiro's boobs are in the way, along with Misaki's crotch. But yeah, patreon.com s h a z a i k y o s u k e if you guys want to see this. God damn it. <laughs> I did not expect them to actually, you know, show full on nudity on the common route, considering we didn't see Misaki's right、uh, last episode. So? <laughs> Ichinose is also here, by the way.、Uh, I'm pointing it out because she actually hasn't said anything, but she is in the CG. Actually, they make a very good point. The school has an open air bath. Wow. That is actually insane. Uh, what, you just, what, what you guys need to know is that <laughs> like,、uh, Mashiro is just being a pervert. So, are you guys gonna talk about the training again, or you know, are you guys just gonna talk about the bath while I still listen on this? There we go. Ichinose is、uh, joining the talk. And Sato in san has a naked boob showing on her sprite. So, yeah, you guys on YouTube, <laughs> just、uh, enjoy the black screen, okay, while you guys listen to my voice and also the girls' voices. Is she gonna wash you or something? Okay, it looks like we're good to go again. Apart from the exchange of voices, I know. I hear a door sliding open and shut over and over as more and more stu students walk closer to the phone. Yeah, I don't know. 
背中を流してくれるっていうのもわかるんだけどうんボディタオルさえ使ってくれればね素手でもびっくりしたのに自分の体にボディーソープつけ始めた時の衝撃ったらあれさ誰かちゃんとしかるべき教育した方がいいって佐藤院の今後のためにも Damn this random fan service moment <laughs> Whatever 絶対意味わかってないもんねでも自分がやられた分被害者を増やしたいという気持ちもちょっとだけあったりしてわかる Man, you guys are evil. Oh, it's n t Whoa! I pull myself away from my phone as Shindo san addresses me. Yeah, um, I'd say it's kind of like watching a horror movie. No, forget I ever said anything. I quietly end the call. So, what about the peeping? So, I don't know. 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 I don't k n Time for bed. I think I can probably end the episode after we're done with the whole day here. All the guys lined up their sleeping bags earlier. Since the players are rather tired, there's no chattering going on either. Seems like they're all out like a light. I was actually going to end the episode after like the whole peeping thing. But I thought they were actually going to try and peep. <laughs> But of course, Messiah doesn't even need to lift a finger for the CG to magically appear in our face. It's probably better if I don't think about why these two chose to sleep next to me. Better them than strangers, I guess. Okay, it's time. I get up. Everyone's exhausted because of all the hard work they put in earlier. I usually try to make time for this, so it's nothing new, but I can't deny that watching them has me extra motivated. However, it isn't something I can do in a confined space. Guess I'll head outside for a bit. Shindo san would probably get in a lot of trouble if something goes wrong on school grounds. Guess I'll go somewhere else. I'm guessing he's actually gonna try to. Practice. Though, I guess me wandering off by myself in the middle of the night is actually more of a problem. Well, whatever. It's fine as long as I don't get caught. Fly. With that, I head off into the night sky, making sure to be as quiet as possible. See, I actually feel like Rika's、uh, scenes are a lot more private and intimate compared to everyone else's. You'd actually expect to have Asuka here, but it's actually Rika. And so, the night of our first training camp day comes to an end. Ah,、oh, we're not even gonna see him practice? Wow. Alright, l with that though, I think this is actually a good time for me to end the episode. So, yeah, I don't think I've set this on the video yet. I've only set this on the daily post that I put on Patreon. But my impressions of this game is actually very nice.、Um, Messiah is also not as, you know, like, he's not annoying or anything. It's only the fact that. I feel like he's not really being true to himself that bothers me, but it's not like he's a bad MC. And yeah, I'm really anticipating the competitive arc when it does happen. Because it does feel like Shindo is probably gonna be our stepping stone to get into FC again. The random, like, fan service here and there is、uh, weird. 
<laughs> but that is anime, right? I guess I can't really complain. It's just, uh, you know, the medium that we all enjoy and love. So I will be censoring all of that on YouTube which with a black bar. But for, for you guys that want to see it uncensored, do pledge on the Patreon. But yeah. Uh, give the video a like if you guys like it. Sub if you guys haven't. Patreon will be getting these episodes early access along with everything uncensored. And I will see you guys on the next one.